Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans handover video for this 2023 Eldest Crusader Zephyr. Uh, the 2023 models of Crusaders are all 8 feet wide. Uh, I'll start at the back as I normally do. Uh, I have undone some of the lockers just for the ease of the video. So Right, so starting at the back, so we've got the light clusters, so your indicators, brake lights, running lights, and reversing lights, and fog lights, uh, corner steadies down at the bottom, yeah, grab handles, however these are quite heavy, so uh, difficult to manoeuvre about manually, you've got the high line brake light, and that's the uh, window for the bedroom. Go around to the offside for the window. Uh, first thing we actually come to are the uh, waste out there pipes. So that's for the grey waste, so your uh, washing up liquid, uh, washing up water from the kitchen sink, bathroom sink and from the shower. Okay. Now the important bit, the toilet. So the standard set for toilet cassette, these have not got a um, uh, separate reservoir so you'll know when these need emptying uh, because there's a, a light inside next to the flush uh, that will light up when the cassette needs emptying so just literally lift that up pull it straight towards you out it comes this part uh, swivels out take the lid off off now but you take the lid off when you do put that somewhere safe and then lean forward uh, over the wherever you're emptying the waste and press on this button here that will release any pressure to let it out okay you will want to rinse this out then so slide back open there uh, hose pipe to rinse in close everything up again lid back on briefly just so you can swirl it around and then repeat. This lid itself also does have uh, measurements on it uh, on the outside and the inside so uh, depending on which fluid you're going to be using uh, check on the, uh, the bottle to see how much you need to put in and that can either be put, poured into there or you can obviously just pour it into the, into the tops and tie it up to you and then fold back round and slide back in. So this handle is actually telescopic so you can literally walk around and uh, take the key. So, so being the Zephyr twin axle model, this one's got uh, all the drive uh, auto engaged motor movers on, that's a separate video altogether. But the alloy wheels, the wheel nuts should be torqued up to 130 newton meters. Uh, I'll show you the weight plate in a little while to show you uh, when you can check it if you forget from the video, obviously. Next along, battery box. So it's already opened. That's where the battery goes. And this is where the electric hookup is. Um, and this is the isolator for the motor movement. Again, that's a, a separate video. But this is put here. Is that when it's in, you can't engage the motor with that. That's just to stop people driving off the pitch uh, with, a, <laughs> with, the, um, with the pole attached to it. It's also got behind there, if you could just about see that, and uh, struggle to see it a little bit, really. Um, another antenna point and a 12 volt socket there as well. Next, we go to the water input. And for that, we'll need to go and get you the water pump. Okay, so here we are, water, one water pump, where water pump, that end is the end that goes into the water, this is the end that goes into the caravan. So with the slider up, we just slide that in, click that down into place, so that's now in place, like I say, this is the part that goes into the water, that's just the lid to stop any dirt going into the aqua roll. And when you are refilling your aqua roll, you can 
and just put that in there. So that uh, recess. So to stop the pump actually going onto the floor. And also on this side, we have got uh, an outside service light, so you can turn to water at night as well. A few lucky things. Also here, that's the exhaust port for the Aldi uh, heating and hot water system if you're using gas. If you're on site, you electric, but you can use gas. Right, so the front locker. Um, if I can demonstrate this one-handed, it'd be a miracle. So uh, we have had a few questions about these new front lockers on the Buccaneers and the Crusaders. Um, so I'll try to simplify it. Um, this when the uh, keyhole in effect is horizontal that is unlocked push that in and it will just come out which we lift up it's very difficult to show uh, so quite some close up but that's how it comes up and then closing it you really want to get hands either side and push it down together that way it will lock into place quite easily um, uh, at some stage i will ask a colleague who might film it while I, I do a separate video to demonstrate. Anyways, whilst we're here, so inside you've got your bin chip and, uh, Chris number on here, you've got the gas regulator uh, and all the other bits and bobs that go in here. Okay, continuing on, this has got uh, running on the Alco chassis, so it's got the ATC, Alco trailer control, so yeah, it's got a sensor underneath. Uh, so if the, if the caravan does start to go out of shape for any reason, it will uh, dab the brakes on and will uh, stabilise the caravan. Hopefully the only time you notice it is if uh, you're uh, going over a speed hump or something. That's the only time generally. Um, other than that, well, there's, there's a door anyway, but you've got the usual three windows on the Eldis. Uh, grab handles, again, good luck. And, uh, these things are quite heavy. Also in here, outside gas barbecue point. So uh, I, I do remind people every time I do one of these videos, but please do not use the gas barbecue in an awning. It doesn't go well, or the potential not to go well. So this is just a locker underneath the front bench. So just storage space, which you can get to from inside, but you've also got here, if I can get to it, 30 volt socket and a TV antenna point and that can then run through this channel here so you can run an extension lead and coax outside into the awning if you have one. I mentioned earlier the weight plate well this is it so the details on here it's got the Chris number uh, it's also got the mass in running order and the uh, maximum plate of weight uh, of this caravan being 1890 kilograms Tire size, tire pressure 42 pounds per square inch. The wheel bolt torque, so for the steel, so for the spare, which is underneath, uh, it's 102 newton meters. And the alloys, as I said earlier, 130 newton meters. Uh, mentioning the uh, spare wheel, there is in the front locker a jack uh, to jack these up. It's also got a couple of Alco wheel locks, and you will need the jack to lift these two wheels to get the uh, both locks on. Then you've also got the vents for the freezer and the fridge. And a particular favourite of mine, split level or stable doors. Uh, and the other locker out here is just literally going under the bed for extra storage. Okay. So that's the outside. Oh, while they're there, awning light. And there is the antenna for your television and radio. Let's go inside and have a very quick look around before we do more um, more in-depth um, handovers. So lounge, nice long benches on these, Something like that, wireless charger, also pops up and you've got a couple of USBs in there as well. Let's go all around, kitchen area, mid-bathrooms in the Zephyr. Shower here. Try not to do this too quickly. 
bedroom area, you get waste masks on with these, that's standard. Bedroom area, area for all sorts of really wonderful. So there's a TV point down there. So that's the light that comes on with the toilet, so uh, the, the Lucas set is ready to be refilled. Okay, so in just a minute. Turn everything around. Turn everything on and show you how everything works. Okay, so internally. Uh, all of the, well, the main controls are indeed on the uh, left hand side as you walk in to the caravan. Down a minute. So we've got master switch. Outside lights, so the gas locker lights and the service light, and then the awning light, and we've got internal lights. Back on again just to show you they have the spots and next to that is for the surrounds. I've got lots of other lights in here. All of these uh, individual lights have got individual switches. I can actually show you if it would help. Yeah, yeah. Just to get into that. So yeah, these are all got individual switches. Lots of light switches around. Kitchen lights, floor level lights and under uh, counter uh, lights. Loads of them. Half the fun you're going to have is going around finding out where all the light switches are. However, the important things, um, particularly in the UK, water. Okay, so we have on here, we've got options. This is uh, has an internal tank, which is located underneath the bed. Now, if you want to use your internal tank, you have to fill it up in the first place. So. Bear with me, I'll try and go through this as, you know, as slowly as possible and slowly, but as, as clearly as possible. To turn your water pump on outside, you hear that? Yeah, that's the pump I've left in deliberately, so you can hear that word. So, if you want to use the water from just your aqua roll, just leave that, leave this rocker in the central position, or the zero position, whatever you want to call it. That would then just take water in from outside. If you are going to use the direct feed pipe that is supplied in here with the uh, Crusaders, um, I'm a little bit nervous of them because you don't use the water pump, it uses tap pressure only. And I think I would have a tendency to try to put the pressure up too much. Um, and then you could have just a, a constant flow into the caravan, but if an no O-ring's popped, uh, it could possibly, I know it's unlikely, but it is possible to flood the caravan out. Personally, I would use an aqua roll and a mains adapter the ball pumps. This is supplied with the mains. You can use do not use uh, the mains pump. So that's the zero position. If you want to use your internal tank, you have to fill it up first from an external source. So you have a full barrel of water, press external, and that will then fill up. You have to pump on, but that will fill up internal tank from your aqua roll. You would then use internal to use the water in the internal tank and use that pump. Okay, so in the central position you're using water from your aqua roll or from your outside source. If you want to use your internal tank you have to fill it up from an external source to start with and then use the internal tank. Okay, hopefully that's quite clear. This uh, this display next to it is, shows uh, the voltage we have in the caravan, 13.6, where we are plugged into the mains. So I'm not surprised when it's that big, you know, did it every van outside. I thought, oh, it's just been uh, turned off. 5% uh, uh, indicates how much water is in the internal tank at the moment, so we have got a little bit in there. Uh, I will, uh, and there's just a little tap next to the internal tank to turn it off. devil may care attitude to go in and see what we can do. So the internal tank is underneath the bed and it's here. Okay. 
there is a little blue tap. That blue tap is currently closed because we have water in here. It'll be only 5%. We can open that tap uh, and just drain all of the water onto the floor. I would definitely recommend doing that before you travel anywhere. We've also got a little pressure switch down there, so if you get any clicking or pressure's not great, uh, tiny adjustments on there should absolutely help. Also very important and most important for any caravan uh, owner or user is the drain down tap. Mostly important in winter, but I always used to uh, undo, or let all the water out as I was travelling. Because uh, if you've got a full water tank and all the system is full, you're likely to have about 10 kilos plus of water. So it's just extra weight. But underneath the front bench. see that there, that yellow tap, that is allowing water into the caravan. If that is put into the vertical position, that would drain all the water out of the water tank, uh, the hot water tank, which is there. Just see that there. Um, but at the moment, it's allowing water in. Um, to drain it, like I say, lift it vertical, then open your taps, your sinks, uh, and your shower, just to make sure all water drains out, but particularly in winter times definitely important. Also under here, got your breakers, ooh, breaker switches and your fuses. Uh, chances are, if you do overload uh, the caravan, the, it's normally the pole that uh, the breaker goes on, um, but if it's not that, it can be there. Right, back to the controls. So, that's obviously the main power, lights, water. Most again, back in the UK, heating and hot water is always important. So this is running on the Aldi system. So this is the power button. It's the Aldi 3030, so it's got slightly more um, capacity for the hot water. It's got 10 litres now rather than the previous eight and a half of the 3020 system. So the first screen you come to where we're going to set the temperature. This is just showing that we're using electricity at the moment. Current temperature in here is 25.5, it builds it. I actually set the temperature in here to, to 21, um, but you can have that as whatever you like. Uh, and literally, it's thermostatically down, up or down, depending on how warm you like to be there. I always think about 21, 20, 21 degrees is actually fine. When, it's, when the current temperature is over that, um, I have been asked fairly recently, um, can they have hot water without the heating on? The heating will always have to be on, all you need to do is turn the thermostat down to a temperature where it's not going to go lower than, uh, for example, you put it down to 10 degrees during summer, it's not likely to go lower than that. Uh, that's entirely up to you how to do that. Uh, menu then gets you to the next screen, so you've got night mode, day mode. Now you can set a night mode, uh, turn it on, you can set it by day, time, in for what temperature you want, dark stick, there's all sorts of things you can play with on here. And also you can do it not night mode for hot water as well. I have got a video um, from Aldi themselves um, showing the uh, 3020 system. I will add that to any video links of, uh, that I send through to, to customers. Uh, what you can see up here though, next to the info on electric, you now know that night mode is activated. And then if you go into back into night mode, you can turn it off. So then when we go back to the next screen, it's no longer there. Okay, so we've got various modes. Uh, Play, sound, language, you can change all sorts of things on here. Uh, system configuration and reset, I'd advise customers against that unless you have a problem, speak to one of our technicians who might uh, advise to do that. Uh, but I certainly don't know what the best thing to do. We've also got 
press again, so it tells you what temperature is. Again, it's 26 from that now. Let's go to the temperature. Uh, energy. So what energy are we going to use? Well, we're currently we're going to use 2 kilowatts. We've got 1 kilowatt, we've got 0 kilowatts, we've got 3 kilowatts. But my suggestion to heat things up quickly is go on to 2 kilowatts, because 3 will probably be uh, an overload on the power supply that you have for the caravan. This 2 kilowatts is just for the Alga system, not for the whole caravan, just for this system. Um, but I also do know that in some places are now starting to charge um, for electricity. So I would say heat it up quickly to 2 kilowatts, I might even add gas as well. But then once at that temperature, I'll go down to 1 kilowatt just to maintain the temperature. As I said, it's also got gas, so you can add gas with electric, or you can have just gas. Um, but then you are using obviously your own gas. Menu to go back again. Hot water, so you've got a choice of off, on, or boost. You've got 30 minutes of boost never had to use it myself. Um, normally when the hot water's on, like, it, it's enough. Uh, it is very hot as well, so remember to use the uh, mixer taps correctly. Don't just go straight to hot water, because you may well scold yourself. They are very warm indeed. Hopefully that's clear, but if anyone's got any questions, you can always give us a call on 01373 752 100. Um, 3737521100 and we'll always sort of try to help as we can. Okay. So that's just the main controls. Hopefully that's not clear in mud. Um, people have asked, actually asked, right, then what's, what's this thing up here? Well this is part of the alarm system and when it flashes once red every now and then that's absolutely fine. If it flashes red three times it is asking to be reset. Okay. Um, to reset Alarm fob, I will show you the alarm in a minute. And then you've also got this little, looks like an immobiliser from the 1987 hospital. That just gets put it into that hole if it's flashing three times just to reset it. Hold it in for a couple of seconds for reset. Right, one thing I do want to show you on the alarm is uh, this bit, the key fob. So, one beep is on. Two boops is off, so that's quite clear. These do have a tracker as well, which we will activate uh, for the first year. This is a panic button. You will have these in your pocket at one stage, and you will press this by accident on your, and then you put your legs down, whatever. That will go off, and it will find you death. Be warned, it's very loud. I'm not going to do it here because I'm inside, and I don't know who's going to be walking outside, and it might find him to death. <laughs> but it is very loud, so if you can fall forward. Anyway, enough doom and gloom. Back on with the uh, video. Right, so here we've got uh, your entertainment system, as I like to it, as a radio. Uh, it's also got, um, it's compatible for iPhone and Android. It's got a USB port, it's got uh, an auxiliary in. Um, SRC or source is how everything starts. Set it to the radio. Speakers up. Oh, a bit of UB40. There you go. A bit of product placement. Probably get fired for that. But there you go. So turn that off. Okay. There you've got the TV aerial and radio aerial. So that these unscrew, lift the shaft. Uh, and then turn the aerial around to the same way, same direction everyone else has got their um, aerials, and then reach in the TV wherever you are. If you're always going back to the same site, you only need to do it once. However, if you do move about, that's you really need to uh, reach in. So, also got the boost, the game boost up there. Leave that on, that's absolutely fine. It's not going to be a problem at all. That should be to touch that. Right, rest, cupboard space galore. what comes out. Comes out there. Uh, the 
the bed comes out. If you do need to use the bed, the slats do come right out. Uh, and then using the um, sofa cushions, you can turn that into a very, very large double bed. Straight back in. Um, it's just storage under that side. We've already been under that side. Um, kitchen area, well, lots of kitchen space, lots of storage space. Done. Um, got cooker, yeah, it's got a Thetford cooker, so it's got uh, one electric hob and three grass, grass, gas burners. So, electric hob, gas burners. The gas burners won't light when the glass lid is up, however, uh, the electric hob shouldn't turn on either, um, but there is underneath the oven. Here. There is a socket and, uh, where that plug goes into that socket, and that will turn the. Uh, then you'll be able to use the uh, electric hob. So there is a light for the oven on there, and that's for the burners for the spark, I should say, for the burners and for the grill and for the oven. We have noticed there's a couple of gas isolators under there as well. If you're using butane, you can turn them off individually. If you're using propane, I just turn off at the bottom. Right, fridge. I'm sorry, you will get a bit of my reflection now. So I do apologize. To turn the power off, to turn the fridge on, I should say. Bum, onto that, something there, all good. We've got options of going mode. So if you go to modes, Battery, so that's running off your car alternator if you're traveling. Gas, electric, or auto. Got it on auto, it will just it will use whatever source you are currently uh, running. Um, I've said about running on the car alternator, the fridge will already have to be cold for that to be worthwhile. If it's not cold already, because this just maintains the temperature rather than cools it down from the start not worth it so if you've got your van in storage might not be worth it until you're coming back you'll be able to keep everything cold talking of the hammer how cold so this is just the thermometer just to change the temperature on it i recommend three or four um, but again it's entirely up to you how much you uh, how cold you want things we've got these little catches this is to uh to traveling Keep them locked during transit. Same in the fridge. The fridge. Nice size fridge freezer in these. Microwave. Does microwave things. Um, again, I'm not going to show you how to use that. The isolator for the microwave is underneath the fridge in that cupboard down there. Shower, yeah, it's definitely a shower. To, uh, there's a clip on the side here to bring the door. I'm not going to be able to do this one handed. Uh, was shower. That just pulls out. So how well you're going to see that uh, on here. But so that's the door. Shower door closed. And concentrate it back together. Bathroom side things. So we've got the heated towel rail, and that does get hot, so be careful. Um, so this is running on the Alder central heating system, um, hot water system, uh, glycol and water mix. Uh, if you, it, it's like an ordinary radiator. So if it's hot at the bottom, but not so much at the top, it just needs bleeding. Taps, toilets. I'm sure to show you this is where the light comes on if the uh, cassette's full, that's a flush. Uh, swivel toilet, 
we'll swivel around as much as you need. Uh, when you've finished doing whatever you need to do, make sure you slide across and slide back. Just to, once you've emptied the contents, slide it back, otherwise you will really struggle to get the uh, cassette out of the caravan, out from the side, and unfortunately, you do the other thing being done. Bedroom, so we've got some more USB ports and light switches, and TV points. I will show you where the reservoir is, for the, uh, for the alder fluid, so the black hole is in there. Five year fluid now, this particular one, doesn't have to be changed until January 2028. So uh, that's good. Individual light switches again. These are all individual catches. This door between the uh, bedroom and the bathroom area. Uh, this got reflected the retaining strap. It must be used when in transit, otherwise it will slam. Open and shut. You do not want that. Obviously, this door is closed off to the toilet. Nothing really. Not a lot else to show you. Okay, blinds, of course. So, down once for blackout blinds, down again for fly screens. Uh, the kitchen was different, it comes up from the bottom, but same principle. Again, fly screens and Blackout blinds on these. Only a blackout blind on this this particular uh, window because it doesn't open. They're looking a bit dark. Um, but all in all, really love the caravan. This has got a, lot, got an omni event. So to open the omni event, I'm not going to open it because it rains. But twist that to open the vent, and then switch on. Either take the air, extract air or bring it in, depending on which way you press. Again, it's got black out lights, etc. on there as well. All in all, I think that's pretty much everything. When you're turning it off, fridge, when you're turning it off, thumb on, do it again. So, the 2023 Crusader Zephyr, the eldest. The, um, yeah, really nice layout. And the, now that they are eight feet wide, yeah, they are, they do feel really nice and spacey. Very roomy, uh, very nice. Anyway, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to give us a call on 01373 752100. Um, so if you do like uh, these videos that we do, please like and share. If you want to put a comment on, if you want us to try and, uh, if you want us to video something, uh, something that you, you might be finding particularly difficult to do that we might be able to help out with, give us a call or, or put a comment on and we'll see what we can do. But if you would like to like and subscribe, that would be lovely. Alright, thanks for your time. Uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.